What's up guys, I'm the YouTube Vlogs, back in another vlog for you guys. Today's vlog is South End versus Eastley. It's our first game since Braintree at home in the FA Trophy. And it's gone for in the last game midweek, he won 1-0 against Halifax, which puts us bottom of the away form in the league. But South End, obviously, are eighth in the league. And I think they basically are winning away to get back in the playoffs. They're 11th, so a win today could help us push for the playoffs, but I, I really think that because of our waveform, we're not getting playoffs. But I just hope we're getting a great one in the FA Trophy, which we currently are. We have not won away away from home since August, end of August, which is a long time and one of the worst away teams in the league. Compared to our home form, it's like we're the fifth, fifth best in the league. So the team who's had just come out, and I'm not sure what the formation is because we've got no right back or left back in the squad. And Vinny's on the bench, so obviously. I'm not sure what type of formation we've got. I know at this moment we've got three centre backs on the pitch. We've got Martins, Magoma, and Corey Panther on the starting 11. I'm assuming Rutherford playing right wing back. And then I'm assuming maybe Hesketh left wing back. And Ghana. And then obviously C season. Obviously, you've got Tristan Abrahams, uh, Alfie Lloyd. There's no Danny Whitehall. So. It's not sure what sort of formation it is. No, I'll go for my score, please. I reckon, I reckon 2-2. Two, two. I, I don't think we'll win. I don't think we'll win this game, but 2-2. Two, two. So the score prediction. My heart's saying 2-1 Eastley, but away form and reality is saying 2 no South End. I have a good feeling about today, but I don't know. The team's just let me down a bit. Yeah. Skip. I don't know why he started. I think he's playing left wing back too. Well, that's terrible. We've got half yeah. on the bench, just put him straight in. No right back in the starting lineup, no left back. I don't know what the formation is, but yeah. I'm just hoping we can get something out of bag. I'm not, I'm not too confident, uh, to be honest. I don't know where White always is not in the squad. Yeah, that's what I was I just worry about White not in the squad. Just got hope and pray. I mean, they're a good side at home. So, Cav obviously, is he starting for them? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah so. Cavs I won't be too surprised if he dictates the midfield, but. Yeah, just got to be hopeful. Yeah. Hopefully, 2 1 each sleep, but. Yeah. It's not looking good. I think, looking at the lineup. As my, my main boy just said he's looking at Hesketh left wing back, which I don't know. I'm looking it doesn't at, make sense, but I'm looking at the lineup and I don't really. I see three defenders, so three at the back is very brave. And if he goes five at the back, then I, re I really don't see who's playing left wing back at all. Yeah. Um, but Alfred Lloyd signing a new contract is something huge for us. Him to the end of the season could really help us push on until promotion or playoffs. Um, off the bench, we have a good looking bench with McKinnon and Vinnie Harper as well. Off the bench recently, he's been really good. So I fancy to come up, them two to come on the bench, make an impact. Hopefully we can keep the game close until then. If we can, I fancy us to get some form of a result. If it's a point, I'm more than happily take a point. I'm going to go 1-1, but it could, it could end up either way 2-1. Mike, it's from days. Have it, Charlie! Have it! I can't wait winning them! You toss it on! I can't wait winning them! Yeah! Yeah! Go on! It's Erica! Come on, I'm smashing that in. Give me 
celebrate that he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He celebrates that. Why would he let him down, man? Of course, sir. Oh, God.
goal. There you go, it's the end of the vlog. What a win. A 3-1 win away from home. I could say for the first 10 minutes of the game, we didn't go out as the strongest side out of the two. But eventually, we grew into the game. Our first goal. Obviously, poor goalkeeping from the south end keeper. Comes out, trying to catch the ball. He misjudges it. Lands to Charlie Carter. Either Carter had the shot or 
either squared it back in and obviously Alfie got the last touch and he went in. We took that into the break, a 1-0 up. Into the second half with a Charlie Carter goal. It was a poor defending from the South End team. It was a throw in, ball comes in. Obviously, the South End defending trying to head it clear. Lands hits another South End player. Then Charlie Carter obviously nudges the ball and then poor goalkeeper went yet again. Obviously, made it 2 0. South End grew into the game and managed to get the goal, which obviously was disappointing from our point of view, obviously, defending wise. Our third goal, JJ McKinnon comes off the bench as he manages to get the goal. Obviously, a yet again, another poor goalkeeping from the South End keeper. In this game, obviously, I think he cost him South End the game. Three mistakes he's done in that game and it cost him the three, the three goals. First win since end of August against York. And another statistic I have just saw, when JJ McKinnon scored in, away from home, we've won. And obviously York he scored in and obviously today he scored in. So that these are only two away wins we have this season and that pushes us up into ninth or one point of the playoffs. Obviously South End above us, same points by goal difference and Dagenham in the seventh position with a game in hand over us as well. So obviously that win was massive. On to our next game is Tuesday against Barnet. Obviously Barnet won 3 new against Chesterfield today. So obviously going to that game with a home form, hopefully we can get the three points and obviously push towards the playoff push if possible if the team wants it. But yeah, if you obviously join this vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on Tuesday night.